Welcome back to another video and today with something special which will be able to replace our router, our firewall, be able to act as a network attached storage solution. Besides that we will also be able to virtualize apps through Docker containers which is awesome and if we want we can run Android Android TV and several versions of Linux just out of the box really easy and I will share that with you in just a few moments this is the NanoPi R6C I will leave a link down below just next to the link to keys fan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price for your Windows 10 or 11 activation if you still haven't done already and just in case you want to check that out the link will be down below it comes in a small and simple package and according to the chosen options we can have a power adapter or not in my particular case I thought it was not useful because I already have plenty USB type C chargers so this was the configuration that I chosen we can also choose several configurations in terms of RAM and storage in this particular case we have the 8 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of EMC storage with the possibility of expanding the storage just by opening this case right over here and placing an SSD which I did place a 2 terabyte SSD from Samrent. Now one of the things that it's a choice as well is this case right over here and I would suggest strongly if you are getting the NanoPi R6C to get the case by several factors one of which is that it looks just awesome it's really well designed well built everything is metallic as I did show on a video that I did where I did gather a lot of machines which are really interesting and the NanoPi R6C is one of them and besides the aesthetic side and well built it also acts as a passive cooler because it touches the CPU and it will cool down the unit even when we are pushing really hard uh, doing all the management of our network with docker apps and so on and so forth it comes with the latest Rockship 3588S SOC or CPU which is a lot of power for such a small machine it's a lot stronger than a Raspberry Pi 4 and some of the competition as well which makes it really interesting I did actually run some performance tests while I was on Android which I will share with you the Android and all the other operating systems in just a few moments but just so that we have an idea and we can compare with other machines we got on single core score of Geekbench 723 and 2688 of multi-core score I also run 3D Mark uh, Wildlife we got 4522 although this is not intended for gaming we can do it on Linux Android and so on and so forth but it's not in my opinion the main goal nonetheless we can see just the performance of the SOC in terms of connectivity we will find plenty we will have at the back a USB type C for power HDMI 2.1 1 gigabit 1 2.5 gigabit LAN port USB 2.0 USB 3.0 USB C for debugging and a plastic cover that covers a hole if we want to connect a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth antenna besides that we also have right over here a micro SD slot and a reset button the operating system that comes by default is friendly WRT which is a modified version of OpenWRT I will share with you some information so that you can compare with your router and you will see the huge difference that it is but there are videos out there showing how OpenWRT works in more detail so if it's something that you want to check out just search for it and you will find a lot of info now the main goal of this operating system is for IoT NASH devices routers firewall and in this particular case with the customization also to virtualize apps through docker and if you have never heard about docker check out docker hub and you will find all the apps or almost all the apps that you can install on any device that can run docker including the nanopi r6c and just to give you an idea on how the main operating system works which is friendly WRT uh, we can check out that we have seven different menu areas where we will find the status with a global view routing firewalls 
some records, uh, processes and graphics and net data with even too much information in my opinion of course that makes us lose some time but, but for those that like statistical analysis it's really cool. We also have the system options, management, software, the system itself and the general machine management. When we choose the version with Docker we will also be able to run apps that are created for Docker as I did mention and there are many of them. Just check out Hub, but this is the area that we will find that we can see the services running and so on and so forth. We also have some DNS services, ad blocker and so on, a device management option such as the NAS network disk usage, network management options and more statistics with system charts. A lot of options and if we compare this to any router that we have, we have the freedom to do everything and to manage the network as we want. Now, there are several possibilities and to install an operating system right over here, it's really easy. We can download from NanoPi websites individually or we can download a package, just put it inside a micro SD card and then we can choose the one that we want. And in terms of minutes, we will have the operating system running. And besides the ones that come pre-built and ready to install, any operating system that runs on ARM will be able to install on the NanoPi. So just have this in mind that they did our life easier by packaging all this in just one uh, single image. But we can download from other websites and then just install it as we would on any other PC. So this is one of the great advantages. Now, if we want to use one of these, we just need to select it and then we can try it out. We try out almost all of them, Linux, Ubuntu, so I did have a great experience, very fluid 4K desktop. And then of course with Linux, we can install any app we want and including virtualization platforms, which is great. We can have a Linux machine right over here connected to the network, virtualizing apps. And this will give us a different scenario here. Probably we also be able to install Docker and have a lot of freedom. You know what I mean? A lot of freedom that we can spend the whole day imagining what we can do with this machine. I also tested out Debian, which is another version of Linux with a more desktop style and aim for those that want to use this as a, a desktop PC, which in my opinion would not be the way that I would use, at least by its own. I would use it as a Linux machine that I can use with a desktop where I can use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all that scenario, but connected to the network that I'm able to control it via the network and install apps that could virtualize. I would lose probably the thing that I enjoy most here, which is the network management. But at the same time, I would get another scenario with virtualization and so on and so forth. So I do believe that this is waste if we only use it for one scenario. Like Android, I did test it out, Android 12, and it works really nice. It's fluid, worked great. I did also test out the performance benchmarks right over here. But once again, I do believe that it's missed use for the possibilities that we have on the NanoPi R6C. So who's this for, in my opinion? Basically for someone that wants something that doesn't break the bank and it's able to manage the network in first place. In my opinion, this is the main goal. Besides that, we will be able to virtualize apps with Docker. And besides this, we also have the tools inside to have it as a network attached storage solution. I can put a 12 terabyte or 14 terabyte uh, disk connected to USB and right there I can uh, share it to my whole network. So in my opinion, this is for someone that wants in, in a small form factor at an attractive price to get the most out of it and solve a few issues that we have or a few needs that we have. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.